What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. Basically, what I do is I just do a brand new podcast every single day, and I'm just documenting my journey as an independent musician. I'm a rapper and a music producer, and I'm just trying to make my dreams come true. I'm trying to make a living out of music. I'm trying to become wealthy, impactful, and I'm just sharing my journey with you, basically. So, here is what we're going to talk about today. The title of this is This Pisses Me Off. So I'm going to talk to you about something that pisses me off in the music industry specifically. Okay. What pisses me off a lot is the advice that we get as independent musicians. The problem kind of starts with the questions we ask the internet, the questions that we ask YouTube University, how to grow on Instagram, how to grow. And I've talked about this before. You know, if you haven't tuned into my podcast and this is your first time listening, then welcome. You can go listen to my other episodes where I talk about stuff like this, but I want to I go into it a little more today. Here is basically what I see happening. <clears throat> I see artists looking to grow on Spotify, looking to grow on Instagram, uh, looking to grow on YouTube, or on TikTok right now. TikTok's hot, right? We live on TikTok right now on the other phone. And we wonder why things aren't happening the way we want them to happen. There's a couple of things. Number one, you might just suck. Your content might just not be good. That could be it. It could be you haven't done it long enough. You might be putting out tons of great content, but you haven't done it for a long enough time to the point where you even know if the content's good. That could be something that that works. But the problem is, I personally think, and this is just from me asking questions, why don't fans come back? That's the thing that pisses me off. And what really pisses me off is the way, is the stuff that you pay attention to as a musician. Not just you, me. The stuff I've paid attention to. I'm not going to talk about what you should do. I'm just going to talk about me and my journey and talk about it because I don't want to, I don't want to come off as like I'm lecturing you because I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to document my journey, okay? But like I would get so mad when you you watch videos and people put super catchy headlines which which I don't blame somebody for putting a good headline or a good title for their video they're trying to rank but the content isn't really that valuable it's not i've realized personally that you know trying to search through all of youtube and trying to you know figure out how to make all this stuff happen like the whole business side and the marketing side, you're not going to learn that all on YouTube for free. I mean, that's what I learned. And what pisses me off is, is, is all these people put these, they're, they're, they're selling you on that, that they know how to help you market when, when then you get to the point where you pay them for advice or you pay for their course or you buy something from them and it's still not that good. And that pisses me off. It makes me upset as an, me as an independent artist, by the way. This isn't me talking as competition to those people, like, because I'm trying to do the marketing thing and help. That's not, this isn't that. This is me as an independent artist. This is me as a rapper. Got it? That's one of the reasons that I even want to be a, a coach. That's why I coach artists and producers, because I want to give people the stuff that I never got. I'm trying to figure it out on my own because that's what I've learned is you have to figure it out on your own. But I've also learned if you pay for coaching and you pay for mentorship from the right people that you'll get that you'll be able to get something out of it. Like I got mentored by Legion Beats personally and that helped me a lot, right? I've had a coaching call with Wishmaster that helped me a lot. It was huge for me to get mentored by those kinds of guys and it made me realize that that is that next step for people is to get that mentorship. So that's why I provide it personally, right? It's not like the rate that I charge people is going to pay my rent, but I'm just like trying to give people the stuff that I never got that personalized attention, right? But what, but like the title of the video is what pisses me off or this pisses me off. What pisses me off is two things. One is the people on on my side, on the other side of the camera, right? I'm, now I'm on the side of the camera of I'm not watching anymore. Now I'm giving you the info. Those people piss me off because they're really not giving you good info and they're really not showing you the way to make it happen. They're giving you the stuff that's going to give you a little quick shot of adrenaline. 
They're gonna show you how to grow on Instagram, but that doesn't matter. They're gonna show you how to grow your Spotify, but that doesn't matter. What matters is having fans come back. And if we were to just use our eight inches between our ears and think, we'd realize that that stuff is BS. That's why I got to the point where I'm at. I realized that that stuff was BS. I was like, wait a minute. I can't take somebody on Spotify and talk to them. They're only on Spotify. I don't even know who they are if they click play. I have no idea who they are. If they add me to their playlist, I gotta go research them and find out their name and then go reach out to them. They're not in my ecosystem. They're not on my email list. I can't talk to them. Same with Instagram. You have to get somebody to come to you. Somebody liking a pic and commenting, that's great. You know who they are. You can talk to that person through Instagram DMs, but Instagram controls that whole, Instagram controls the party. Instagram is control, it's Instagram's party that you're going to, but you want people to come to your party. And what pisses me off is that people don't talk about that. Why is it that email marketing for musicians is nowhere near as popular a search term as, as how to get famous as a rapper? Or how to grow your Instagram? Why is it that the thumbnails and the titles for Instagram for musicians is so catchy and so popular and so colorful, but we're not talking about email marketing? Why? Why, why, why don't we talk about that? Like for real, for real. That to me is what pisses me off about the music industry is you think you're getting these people who are in the trenches because they act like they're in the trenches and they act like they're there for you and they act like they've got what it takes to help you succeed and they don't. They don't. They don't have what it takes to help you succeed. Judge them by their free content. By the way, I'm not out, this isn't, this has nothing to do with trying to get you to come pay me. If you wanna pay me for coaching, you can, if you want. But, you, but this isn't even about that, forget that right now. This is Lazy the Gifted, the rapper, talking to you right now. Not the coach, not the producer. I'm a rapper, I'm an artist. I'm trying to figure out how do I, how do I make a living as a musician? Like that's what you wanna do too. I know that's what you wanna do. That's what we all wanna do. So, cause I know people who have pretty solid Spotify followings. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of monthly listeners. I know people who have big Instagram followings. They don't know how to make money. They don't know how to bring their fans back. So what does that show you then? Now people who have big email lists, those people know how to make money. If you got a big email list, you're probably, you're able to make some money. Big being, what would a big email list be? I don't know. I would say 50,000 and above, I guess. Maybe 100,000 and above. I don't know, it depends more on your open rates and click-through rates. But think 50K, 50K email list. You know, I mean, it's just the, sh the stuff that we think is so important is not. It's not. And what bothers me is that the YouTube people feed into it. They, f they are the ones, so it's it's the it's the YouTube people on this side of the camera, as in I'm you're watching me. But you know who it is, number two? It's you. You piss me off too. You piss me off because you keep feeding into it. Because you're not going after the information you need to go after. You say, oh screw you, Lizzy. Like you you know, you did the same thing. You know, don't tell me what I can and can't search for. Like, you do the same thing. Like you used to do that. Yeah, I used to do that. I used to do that until I got my stuff together. And I was like, wait, this doesn't make sense as to how this is gonna help me. Like, I don't get why having an Instagram following helps. Is that, does that really make me special because I said I don't get why? Because I simply questioned what this person was telling me? Because I didn't just take the quality of their camera into account, because I didn't just take the cool lighting into account, because I didn't just take the number of subscribers that they have into account, because I didn't just look at how many Instagram followers they had and said they must know what they're talking about. I didn't just look at that stuff. I paid the price. 
and heard from them after I paid the price. And I said, oh snap, they're not helping. And I paid attention to their YouTube and I paid attention to their Instagram. And I paid attention to what was in the videos. You know, I've tried to improve my setup simply to make you pay attention more. That's it. That, that, that's it. But don't f let anybody fool you and don't let me fool you. This little microphone, the nicer looking camera, I got a little ring, like, that's just to make all this look better. Don't take that and say, oh, he must know what he's talking about. Don't do that, because it doesn't mean a thing. You can get the ring light on Amazon, you can get the camera on Amazon, you can get the mic on Amazon. You can set things up to make it look like you know what you're talking about, but you don't. So really take into account, what is this person doing for me? Are they really helping me get to where I really wanna be? Are they really giving me practical stuff? After I watch them, do I really know what I need to do? And if, and if they don't, if they don't help you, then guess what? Stop watching them. Don't pay for their stuff. It's a waste of your time. Trust me, because not only have I wasted time, I've wasted money on that. So you stop pissing me off too. Stop going after the wrong people. Start going after the right people. S recommendations of the right people. I'm so glad you asked. Indiepreneur. Indiepreneur is, is not even close. They've probably got the best podcast. It's a little bit boring, but it's definitely the best podcast for independent musicians trying to make a living. They've got the best video courses, Indiepreneur. If you're a music producer, Midi Money, producerfunnelsecrets.com or midimoney.com, Gabe and AD are the best. They have the best course for music producers. It's not even close. I would say those two. That's probably it. And read these books. You know, Russell Brunson, read his book, Expert Secrets, Dot Com Secrets, Traffic Secrets. This has nothing to do with music. This is about marketing. Read this. Um, right here. This is a great book. One Million Followers by Brandon Kane. This guy built a following of a million followers in 30 days. A million followers in 30 days. He used paid ads. It was expensive, but he teaches you how to do it. Um... This book, Money Master of the Game by Tony Robbins. This is a great book about money. You're talking about how you want to make a living as an artist. You should probably read this book because it has to do about making money and how to make more of it, how to create real wealth. Stop going after these, these watered down music, music marketing people. They're full of shit and they're not helping you. Trust me, because I know, because I've been there. And by the way, I'm not sitting here telling you I have all the answers because I don't. I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. The point of all of my content, the point of this, the point of the video, the podcast, everything I do is just, hey, I'm just trying to figure it out with you. Now, I have a little bit more experience with marketing. I've read tons of books. I've spent thousands of dollars. I've spent hundreds, if not thousands of hours perfecting my craft. So if you wanna work with me, click below and book a 15 minute call. That's about all I'm gonna sell you on there, basically. If you don't want to work with me, cool. Go go do that stuff though. Like those guys are going to help you. So that's all I've got for you today. Don't forget we have a contest going on right now for the podcast. Um, it's going to be ending. Oh, I can't remember the date, but episode 208. Uh, next week on Wednesday. Frick, dude. Uh, let me check real quick. It, it, oh, the phone's dead. Don't worry about it. I don't need it. But basically... What we're doing is you go share the podcast on your Instagram story or your Instagram feed, tag me and tag two of your friends, and uh, you have a chance to win a free one-hour coaching call with me, all right? Thank you so much for watching and for listening, and I will talk to you again soon. Peace.